Hi, well something a bit different today. My son John has come back from a three day trip to Iceland and he took some stunning films so we thought we'd share it with you. John's with me here so I'll just introduce him. Hi. So John, did you enjoy this great yeah, trip? Yeah, it was uh, really fun. This here is the Blue, Blue Lagoon which is like, like, like a swimming pool. We didn't actually go to it. How cold was it? Was it quite? It, it's very warm. You see the smoke behind it in that shot. There. But I mean, you hear Iceland and you think everything's going to be freezing. But is that when we it's were natural? there, it was about six degrees. But this, the uh, the blue blue lagoon is actually heated by a geothermal power power plant, which just sits behind it, which we saw just there. This is a Salangefoss, which is a waterfall that you can walk behind. Wow! Do you get wet if you go behind there? A little bit wet. It's just the mist of it. It's huge, it's, isn't it? It is quite amazing. I believe it's like it's over a hundred foot tall, definitely. It's a very big drop. Yeah, so it's quite spectacular. It Are is, there many indeed. waterfalls like this, or is that quite a select there's, tourist? There's quite a lot of waterfalls. In fact, this rock here almost—it's almost like it leaks water. So it has several. But this, this one is one of the main ones, just because it's so special, and the fact that you can walk behind it. Here's some slow motion here. And you went with some friends on this trip, didn't you? A I went with friends, some friends, friends that I met uh, in the, the Scout Association. Oh, right, yes, when you've been doing the film work for yeah. the Scouts, yeah. So this is uh, Sco Scographos. Now, I'm going to pronounce all these names wrong, hence why I've written them on the bottom of the screen there. Um, but this one is much, much wider. It's about 50 metres wide. The volume of water going it's over It's insane. It's, it is huge. huge. And you can go up to the top, because they've now had a viewing platform put in. So you can go all the way up to the top and peer over the edge if you if you dare to do so. And is it quite noisy? Is it like a fun drill? Very noisy, in fact. They should be, they should be able to hear it. Oh, good, yeah. yeah this good. is, uh, I'm not going to even... Yeah. <laughs> no, pronounce that yeah, I'm not going to even pronounce that when I started just thinking about it. This is actually the M1. This is effectively their main road. Goodness, it's so And empty. you can just go along it. And this is, this is that, that's the visitor centre for said volcano which so you, you is and that said volcano there all right so you hired a car didn't you yeah. get around did you yeah. find it as a good definitely good move a cheaper way of doing it yeah with the four of us it worked about 20 pound each which is oh, a lot right, cheaper yes. than say 50 pound a tour which is what they tend to enter charge this is for black beach which is quite special because it has black sand as opposed to just you know the standard sort of yellow or orange color sand that you'd find on a traditional beach <laughs> it looks fairly deserted then, uh, in it? in the evening we went to the national park fingvilla and we tried to see the northern lights and actually this this shows it wasn't. It isn't. It it wasn't as clear as this. This is this is a quite a select um, sort of shot, if you will. Uh, it was mainly cloudy, and we didn't really see it too well. So we went out the next night, but you'll see that in a second. So uh, now you'll see day day two, and we did the Golden Circle this day, and the Golden Circle is basically a collection of uh, sort of attractions, if if you will, including the geyser and a swimming pool, which we we went to called Fontana. Uh, this is the geyser here. Here's some slow motion coming up now, yes, of the geyser erupting. It erupts every sort of five to eight minutes or so. Sometimes it will do a double eruption, so it will do two, two eruptions in one go. You can sort of see it seethingly. Here it is now, almost pop, and there we go, the wow. surface tension just pops. And you'll see now from this shot here that what happens is, is it sucks back in. You'll see once the steam is cleared oh, here, yeah. that there's a hole there where it sort of sucked the water sucks back, back in. It's quite clever. I don't completely know how it works. It's, it has something to do with superheated steam. Goodness. But um, we don't get oh, many yes. Yes, in down. Europe at all. I think we, these are, this is one of the only ones in Europe. The, the others will be in uh, Yellowstone National Park. So, so what, what distance were you from there? That's that probably about 5, 10, 20 metres tops, probably. Yeah. probably about 5 or 10 metres. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Quite, quite, quite close. This is a little geezer. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> the, the daughter or the son. It's got a sign there too. <laughs> All right. Little geezer. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah. So it's on a smaller scale. So we have big idea. geezer and little geezer. Right. This is this is Gullfoss. This is one of the bigger waterfalls. It still isn't in the top ten in in the world, but it goes through about 140 um, meters of water per second. So that's 140 cubic tons, uh, uh, met metric tons. 140 metric tons of water per second, which is just insane. Serious, isn't it? Serious about. amount. Yeah. yeah. It's stunning, isn't it? I yeah. mean, we just don't get yeah, anything beautiful. like this in the UK, so it's it's mm. amazing to see this sort of thing. And this is this is the surface tension popping there. Oh, the, yes. Uh, yes. Guys, so there's the guys are just as it is. That's one of the holes that the guys are hands around. The water clear. That's it erupting. Yeah, it's just very clear water. It smells of sulphur quite a lot, too. Right. And that's the Gulf Foss there. Yeah. 
This is the Northern Lights. This is our second uh, visit out. This time we actually managed to get it. This was and what time of day was this? About, roughly? Um, this this was taken about sort of two a.m. ish. Yeah, yeah. Wow, uh, but it's def colours. definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Yeah, that's yeah. A, I mean, just just to see that that's actually the city of Keflavik. Oh no, sorry, Re Reykjavik underneath, which is the capital city underneath the Northern Lights. It's just amazing to see it. The, yeah. the flare there you're seeing on screen is the um, is is a car going past. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the camera lens. Picks up the flare. But I'm really happy that I managed to get I managed managed to capture that. It's actually. I mean, it's just magical, isn't it? When it you is, see it there. It is incredible. And now this is uh, day three, and so day three we, we were all quite tired, so we, we woke up a bit later, not too late, but nine-ish, and we went just went round round the city, which is something we hadn't done yet. The city's quite small, it has a total population of about 200,000, and the island has a total population of around 300,000. So it's not, not very so many people. So it's not in... very ma many people at all. This is an arts venue, uh, and this, this, this was so the amazing food. fish and chips we had Is it part of the seafood? No, surprisingly, a lot no. of burgers and stuff. Very yeah, good burgers, yeah. very, very, very good horse, a lot of horses. We went back to Fingvala in the afternoon. Those houses there used to be the uh, parliament for Iceland, <laughs> which is quite amazing. And you can see the edge of it there, but that's the American and European tectonic plates, and you can walk right, right between that. them. And it's amazing. It's just amazing. Colour of Yeah. That was Look, due to like, like almost a sunset, but to be honest, yeah. it, the sun was that low throughout the entire day. It's just not very busy, is it, anywhere? No, just seeing you know, it, the lack of people. It was, it was amazing, and that's the thing that I just, as itself, again, be beautiful. Um, yeah, this is a uh, one of the waterfalls in Thing Villa. I used a slightly longer shutter speed here to get oh, a nice, yes, effect. effect. It's it's stunning, stunning for photography, it. isn't it? You really could get some amazing. pictures. And here we are. Oh, that's is it. that way home? Yeah, way home. So, so uh, get a nice off we go. View, but it's a bit sad. Yeah. <laughs> So you recommend it as a place definitely. to go? Go, yeah. make, make an excuse, find, you won't, you definitely won't want to leave. So, and yeah. how long? Three days or longer? Possibly longer. I mean, yeah. we went for four, three-ish, four days, so I'd, I mean, to be honest, there's tons to do, and if I went back, I'd want to do different things, but, yeah, I mean, just, just, just go for, go, 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 go for three to sort of seven days, I reckon, but some, some people do, do the entire Ar island, and they go around the ring road. And what's your main memories? Northern Lights? Northern Lights, definitely. Yeah. Hands yeah. down. And yeah. the uh, pretty good food too, actually. It was very good. Ah, excellent. Yeah, but just, yeah, that's it then. So uh, thanks for watching. Yep, yeah, thanks, and hope you enjoyed that one.